So I said that if I got 10 subscribers or um, 5 views on one of my videos that I would make a, on, on a very specific video, the video of the Flesh and Seamless 3x3 Piston Door, that I would make a video um, tutorial. So I'm here um, on Windows 10 edition um, because, why did I want to do it here? It's actually a good question. I just did. <laughs> so, um, I have to record with my phone, though. Um, they, I don't have a microphone for this computer, so the audio might be slightly out of sync, and you may hear keyboard and maybe mouse noises. So, just be aware of that. Um, nothing I can really do about that. So, anyway, the first thing you need to do is make the piston layout. So, that is like this. And then, over two, place pistons here. And you can place seven blocks out like that. Break these three. Place three pistons here and break that block. And then you can just go out four and place three pistons here because when they get powered, it will get pushed out. And I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, right, that doesn't work anymore. Um, so I'll just push these out so that you get the seamless starting. Um, and here we go onto the redstone. So um, you may also notice times like these where I just kind of stop um, moving for a moment. That's because I am using my phone for reference as to what I need to do. Um, so, three pieces of redstone here. Um, and place a piston here with, that's I meant to get an observer. An observer there. And you'll also um, notice I don't have a texture pack right now when I usually do. Um, so, because I'm on Windows 10, I could upload a texture pack, I just didn't want to transfer and do all sorts of complicated stuff. Um, so, then you want to place a 4 tick repeater block here, redstone here, and this goes all the way to 1 past that piston. And then actually place a um, block there and a repeater here. Then you want to place blocks in these places like this. Add a f add two four tick repeaters and then. Um, right, so that is going to be the input around here. Um, in the video, it's a little bit different because I hooked up an XOR gate. Um, if you don't know what that is, um, sorry, don't need to do that, just this is good here. Um, if you don't know what an XOR gate is, essentially, it's kind of like a light switch. So, if if you have two light switches hooked up to the same light, so if one is on, light is on. If two are on, the light is off. And if none are on, then the light is off. And that made it so you can use levers, kind of like a button. And don't like the ring. So, the input can actually be here. You don't need that repeater thing that was for the 
XOR gate thing. So you see the first block part there and those get pushed out. So for the next part, this is where it starts getting kind of complicated. No, next part is where it starts getting kind of complicated. Well, depends on your definition of complicated. Anyway, you need a slab for this part. Um, and you need to place them along here with redstone in those places. Then place uh, four blocks like that. This something about this isn't right. Nope, it's right. <laughs> I lied. Um, and place redstone here and here. And then you need to have three four tick repeaters. And finally, the um, well, this isn't the last part, but um, next to the last part. You need to have three blocks here, and this is where it starts getting complicated, and I'm having to look closely. Um, okay. So, um, three torches there, and then you need to go here and place torches there, which will turn that off. I'm going to fix these blocks. And finally, put three repeaters there on two ticks each with redstone there. And then redstone here, blocks like this, four tick repeater, oops, blocks there, we tried to break that one. And two blocks there, place four, I mean two four tick repeaters. And then, um, so the signal for this comes from the same line the signal for this came. Um, this is getting complicated to look at <laughs> on the phone. Um, just place redstone like this, and then keep going for two more blocks. Just place a block there and two blocks there, and block up there, and one four tick repeater. So, now, you should see most of the extension. Oh, actually, all of it. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's all of the extension. And then this. You should see that retraction, except for these blocks. Um, if, so, if it, when you're retracting, does um, something where these pistons track too quickly, then double check this part if um, on the extension this pushes up before these push blocks out. Check something on this part. Um, those would probably be the main problems with it. Well, just pretty much every every single repeater you've placed at this point should be on four ticks except for these two tick repeater ones. So, if you've used four ticks then you should be right. Um, now we need to retract those last two blocks. So um, to do that, okay, here we go. Why? Um, 
doesn't look like that blocks needs to be there. Okay. Um, so go around to here. Place block like that. Redstone here. A torch here. And you need a falling edge monitor stable circuit like this with a four tick repeater coming off of it. Then, so, um, right, then you need to have that running into a block, running into three pieces of redstone with a block there, and blocks like that. Two forty computers here. Now that um, will make it seamless, but it will not do the last block retraction. So I'm gonna place the lever on here actually. You get that and then you get those pushed out here. We need to get those pistons to double extend to cause the double piston. Extender. Okay. So, going back to that torch over here, I need to extend a line of six pieces of redstone from it, like this. Then, that will run into a sticky piston with an observer. So this is another falling edge monostable circuit. Redstone here. Block there. And then a four tick repeater. Place blocks there. A torch here. Redstone these places, and it still is below the ground, so don't worry. Um, go over like this. Place three torches. And place torches here. And blocks here. Those are very essential. This, believe it or not, is the entire bottom section of the flush and seamless 3x3 three three piston door. Okay, what's wrong with this? Hmm. Um. Let me pause for a moment. Um. Uh. Well, maybe I can't pause. Okay, well, I found the reason that it wasn't working, and it was just a bad mistake. I completely forgot a section. Place redstone here. A repeater here. A block here. It just needs to be a one-tick repeater. Uh, redstone here. Then... Go out three blocks and place a block there. Place four tick repeaters all along there. And then blocks here with redstone on them. Now it should work. So we know the extension works. That didn't work. Uh. Let me check this again. Okay, it was super. Um, another just super easy fix. Well, it should be super easy, maybe. Hopefully. Anyways, from 
where, wait, where this redstone is, here, um, let me see, it is a little bit complicated, so, all of the redstone is really crammed together, so, um, that's why this is confusing. Vortec repeaters. It's the answer to life. There's two Vortec repeaters. Now, for the third time, we should be good. And this time, I think I mean it. There we go. So, that is the bottom circuit of the flush 3x3 piston door.